Fountain student is still recovering from a beatdown caught on camera. It happened in Fruitdale earlier this week. One student has been suspended, and the mother of the victim isn't satisfied. News 5's Jason Carter just returned from Fruitdale. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Jason. Good evening, Roseanne. Well, this video can be painful to watch. A student just sits there while another student pounds his face multiple times. The kid sitting here, not fighting back, is Alex Heathcock. He had a busted mouth. Um, his tooth went through his lip, um, and he had some knots on his head. Alex's mom, Brandy Thornton, was called to the school office minutes after her 15-year-old son got beat up Monday morning at Fruitdale High School. Thornton said it was rumors about her son and the 14-year-old's girlfriend, which triggered the violent outburst. Someone had told this boy from what I had gathered, some rumors, and... He just went up to him and started hitting him. The kid throwing punches was suspended for three days. We talked with Fruitdale's principal, Kurt Stackhouse, about the three-day suspension of the 14-year-old seen in the video. He said he did everything according to Washington County District Policy. I do not think that's sufficient, not for what he did to my child. He assaulted my child, and I do not think three days is enough. So Thornton's continuing to bring attention to what happened to her son. She's filed assault charges with the Washington County Sheriff's Office against the 14-year-old. She also wants the kids who recorded the beatdown and those who sat idly by to be punished as well. The kids would rather stand there and video it because they think it's funny and then share it around the school rather than stand up and say this is not right and jump in and put a stop to it. Tomorrow, school leaders and the sheriff's department will hold a meeting to discuss a number of additional disciplinary measures to the 14-year-old, the criminal charges that have been filed, as well as additional punishment to other kids in the gym. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jason Carter, WKRG News 5. Local coverage you can count on.